I gotta say, I was goddamn cute. I was pretty fucking cute. <gasps> oh my god. Hello, and welcome back. Hello. So, I am gonna take this opportunity to show you something fairly embarrassing, but I wanted to give you guys a really good insight into what the inside of my brain looks like. I am a creative person. I am the type of person that has all these projects going on all of the time. Um, I can never finish anything. I'm not effective in my work. And now uh, I am, And I, but I need a place to work now. And past bacon was a disaster. And recent bacon is overwhelmed by that disaster. So my goal is to get this craft room office area um, just settled up into a place that I love coming, into a place that I love working, and into a place that I love being. With that being said, I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm going to show you. Please do not judge me. We're gonna get it together. So we'll start over here. This is my laser cutter and my Glowforge and stuff with that and then empty boxes and you know. Um, and then my walls, which I need to paint. Um, if you move over this way, I got some sewing stuff, some paper stuff, some uh, a board, a whiteboard, and then down here is just more papers. If you go over here, um, it's a closet that I had no idea what to do with. It has like these really deep shelves. Uh, I had my girlfriend come over and talk to me about what I could do with this. And then I have some of my husband's clothes that we could go through. Um, this is supposed to be a workshop table, but you know, no work will be getting done. Cricket area, cardboard that I need to save for some odd reason, um, mugs, this beautiful dresser that I had built and put in here to just hold that, you know. Um, drawers that are probably not being used efficiently. My cello that I used to play in high school and then this chord monstrosity um, that is my office area. This is a dream project for me. I want to build a space that I just a door. So I wanted to take you guys in. I actually have been holding off on cleaning this room because I'm like, no, I want them to see it from start to finish. I don't know when we're gonna get it done. I have set zero expectations on myself, zero deadlines, which is a new step because I usually put these really unobtainable uh, deadlines on myself and then I get frustrated and I quit. So instead of doing that, we'll finish when we finish, you know? Okay, let's start. Hello, this just in, I'd like to quit. I have achieved a lot. Um, I got this area straightened up over here and then this table cleaned up over here. Right, yeah. Um, but I did wanna stop and just tell you before I get to this closet, um, because looking at that. Yeah. Um, okay, so what I've been doing is taking my things and putting them in like piles. Some things have places that they can actually go and, and some things don't. So now I have to get to the closet, but I do have like all of my tech stuff and all of my yarn stuff and, and stuff like that and fabric and like different things in different areas. And I want to keep them together because when I start putting um, things up on the walls like shelves or French cleat systems or whatever i want to make sure that i have a sewing section with fabric i have a painting section with all of my paint and all of my paint brushes i have so on and so forth so that's why i'm doing that um, i found it to be really helpful uh, when i'm cleaning off an area i just start throwing it in piles and working in the other air like in in other areas and then i get to it slowly we've moved from this beautiful area right here. And we're gonna have to go down here. Look, I even cleaned uh, under this desk. Look how nice that looks. Oh yeah. Um, and I got a vacuum and whatever. So this is the bane of my whole existence. 
Um, and I look at this every day and I want to punch myself in the face. So between that and over here where I try to come and sit and create, I... Yuck. Okay. Okay. I think with the closet, um, because it's all of my stuff and like creative stuff, I'm going to work actually from the bottom up instead of the top down because there is certain stuff that can't leave here like my wedding dress is packed in there. Um, that might be the only thing. I don't know. <laughs> There's a lamp in here that I don't need. Uh, and then there's like some sentimental stuff. We can do this. But these projects, especially with the fact that I was able to close this door behind me, um, you know, it's so easy to just whisk away. Oh, and also that pile of cardboard, I left three pieces because I do like to let my daughter like paint on it or I use it as a cover to paint on things. I do like to reuse cardboard, but I don't need uh, 35 pieces. I could just use three pieces. I'm sure I'll have more cardboard sent to my house. So, okay, so let's get started here. Oh my, oh. oh my God, do you guys wanna see baby bacon? Okay, this is me now. That was me, little baby bacon. I was so cute. Oh my gosh, my hair is black, my eyes are brown, and my skin is red. Oh yeah, you wanna see this? Oh yeah, look at that. Hell yeah, happy Halloween, bitches. My favorite thing to wear is dresses. <laughs> Ugh. Well, adult bacon's favorite thing to wear is sweatpants. My grandma takes care of me. Disney is a place I would like to visit. If I could be anything in the world, I would be an octopus. How cute am I? Go ahead, you can just say it. Also, look at that sweet hat. Is it a pig? Is it a mouse? Is it a pig mouse? The world may never know. The first sentence on this page. My friends like me because they love me. <laughs> I see I've been conceited my whole life. By the way, this is from 1988. Oh, hell yeah, I found a self-portrait. Are you guys ready? Honestly, accurate depiction. I think it looks just like me. And this is the box why I'll never get my stuff cleaned. <laughs> More memories to come. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I gotta say, I was goddamn cute. I was pretty fucking cute. <gasps> Okay, if you guys are old like me, do you remember Popples? They were like my favorite thing. Okay, they were this little bear that you could tuck back inside of itself and then they would pop out and you would just pop them back out. Anyways, I was a Popple for Halloween. Are you guys ready? Look at that. Who wants some nightmares? <laughs> my favorite food is ham sandwich and pink Kool-Aid to drink. I have black hair, brown eyes, and white skin. I see I've changed from red to white. <laughs> My favorite colors are yellow, green, and black. Ah, I see the darkness has set in. My favorite song is Row, Row, Row Your Boat. My favorite game is Disney World Game. The thing I like to do the most is paint. I like to wear dresses. Ugh. My favorite flavors of ice cream are cherry and chocolate. Definitely chocolate, I've lost the cherry flavor. When I am all by myself, I like to play outside. <laughs> Parenting was different in 1988. There's more of me. My favorite game is Care Bears. I used to love the Care Bears. When I grow up, I want to be a monster. <laughs> Goal achieved. <laughs> my favorite animal is the frog. I want someone to help me to learn how to pick up my toy still. Still, bro. If this is not the most 1988 picture you've ever seen in your whole life, that's me wearing headphones hooked up to a System 80 computer and overalls. That's the greatest picture of all time. What else can I find? If there is one thing that screams 1990, it were these pants called, uh, I believe they were called Zubers, Zubaz. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> what am I holding in my hand? Stick? God, I'm such a G, look at that. Ah, oh, I am so fashion. <laughs> So let me give you a little backstory of my life. My mom worked three jobs. She had me very young. She got pregnant at 19, had me at 20, and my dad was not in the picture. So I spent majority of my time between one and 10 with my great grandmother. And my great grandmother uh, used to pull through just like my long, thick Mexican hair. And she kept telling me, if you don't let me comb your hair, uh, you know, I'm gonna cut it all off. But you know, just comb it from bottom to top. So anyways, 
You know what she did? She in fact cut it all off. This is me growing it out. I'll try to find the picture of when she cut it off because I looked like a Mexican Peter Pan, Pedro Panos. But, uh, yeah, the fluff. <laughs> dun, 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 dun.